Cross your fingers the buttons actually work this time. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Carnival Cruising Podcast Aways, the podcast where we talk about anything and everything Carnival Cruising related. My name is Trevor Shelby, and joining me on this crazy adventure for the last year are my good friends, Thomas Kennedy and Reese Scripture. Can you believe one year? I can't believe one it. One year, I mean, as of tomorrow, but one effing year. I can't believe we lasted this long. I mean... I know. And, and, and people actually talk about us. Yeah. We've only we've only done one thing other than this <laughs> over a year. <laughs> yeah. So... Well, thank you all for joining us today. This is a, a fabulous, fantastic time. This is we're having our one year anniversary tomorrow. Make sure you guys jump on over to our Facebook page over at facebook.com forward slash carnival cruising podcast the waves. Uh, that's where our live is gonna go. And you can also join the group there as well. We've got like lots of little chats, tips and tricks and all kinds of things going, being posted there all week. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is, did, this is did what we, happens. Did we revoke Gary's uh, expert status? Uh, we should. We I should. mean, <laughs> okay. For you know, First thing- off, the day of recording is Addie's birthday, Grandma. So, yes. Happy birthday. Yeah. Yes. And he said that, you know, we for, we left out that she was the funniest, which I put she was not funny. Mm-hmm. You know, which I'm telling the truth, you know. Am I not? I mean, I I I got to say just be, mainly because I know how this all like transpired. Um she got a bunch of pity votes. And so yeah. I think oh, I think yeah. I think it's because it's because you know <laughs> she's so sweet and innocent. Uh, you know she was a like, write-in for crying out loud. Yeah, so I mean we can't really count her as the funniest. I mean, unfortunately, you only been on one episode, and we've had like over like you know fifty. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, you know, I'm loving how this is going. It's it's like happy birthday, Addie. <laughs> you're boring. <laughs> you're boring. She knows I love. Look at her, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, poor Addy. That's <laughs> too funny. One thing we haven't discussed, and we haven't really released to everybody, because we're terrible planners, is uh, what time we're actually doing this live on Sunday. Yeah, I, I was wondering the same thing, because we haven't discussed that. <laughs> Ever. I just like, all day Sunday, guys, you just watch the page. <laughs> Wait for that live no- notification. Oh, good lord. Oh. Well, I mean, we at the very least want them to know when we're going to be doing the show. Yeah, so at yes, least say yes, it's yes. at 6 o'clock. Oh, that's just what I was about to do. I was about to say it. No, you weren't. <laughs> You're just going to skip right it. over it. I think you should Anyways. leave it all in. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. All right, so we're talking about 6 o'clock Central Standard Time on Sunday, December 18th? Yep. That's a, that was a question. Yeah. Yes. It is the it is. 18th. So we'll we'll create a nifty little uh, thing where you can remind yourself that it's going to happen. We're going to create an event. Yes, an event. That's what they're called. Those nifty things. So nifty. Now, Mr. what if they miss it? Uh, like, <sighs> say that they missed the uh, live show. Is there anything well, for them? Well, yeah, that's yeah. Just they tough can. Shit. They can. Be able to hear un- it again. Unlike the Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> Find new friends. <laughs> Find new friends. I'm sure there's another cult that's willing to take you in. But I'm just saying, wow. not this one. Wow. Holy cow! No. This this uh, that that live will actually become our episode for the following week. So we're not recording uh, much on Christmas week, and so yeah, 
So there you go. There you have it. You miss it. You'll still get to see it or watch it. I mean, listen to it. Whatever podcasts are, those are with the listening ears. You'll use you'll use your ears, not your eyes. I mean, <laughs> anyways, I'm are, you right? are you having a stroke? <laughs> no, <Did> you... <laughs> uh, I'm just checking, man. Anyways, <laughs> let's talk some cruise news, shall we? Ooh. Okay. And for anyone who has cruised on the Vista in the past few years, you guys know that it's had a big propulsion issue. So, beginning of in January of 2024 to, I believe, mid-February of 2024, the Vista has canceled all their cruises and is going into an extensive dry dock. So, hopefully, it'll make top speed. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's hit top, top speed since the day it left uh, England or fr- yeah, France or whatever it left from. I was trying to think if it was going top speed the time that I was on it. And I think at that time it was, it was, and I think it was just after we got off the ship, it started to not be able to hit top speed. And so they had to cut several itinerary short. And a lot of people have been complaining about they, it. They it's had been to a change. huge issue. They had to change a lot of a lot of spots too. Like um, mm-hmm. they 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 were gonna change one from Jamaica stop to uh, you know Belize and Roatan. Oh wow! So because they couldn't make the stops. Yeah. But, hmm. <laughs> and <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah. Because <sighs> this next part is is really. Uh oh. It, it hurts me, okay? Oh, okay. no. I, yes. I need to prepare. Hang on, hang on. Where is my... Okay. Ah! <laughs> okay, so... Wait, are horrible. you going to masturbate to this? <laughs> I hope not. Good Lord. <laughs> For those of you listening, <laughs> no all of you, Good I Lord. grabbed some tissues, <laughs> but he's, <laughs> he's accusing so, me of other things. I I enjoy Italian food. The Carnival Venzia, which is one of those, uh, you know, the, the, the Costa by Carnival thing uh, ships, is going to have, you know, of course it's going to have, you know, like the Kachina and it's even going to have Italian themed Guy's Burger. Yeah. But they're also going to have a Mexican Italian fusion restaurant, which why does everything have Ooh. to be fusioned with Mexican food? Yeah, I mean, that it, sounds good. People, I, I've heard more people complain about Chabang, which is Chinese and Mexican, than that liked it. And, you know, I don't understand why is with fusing Mexican food with a perfectly decent other food. I don't know. I just got to say, that sounds delicioso. Capiche? We. Oui. Um, that, that was, there were, yeah, <laughs> you ruined my rant. You realize that? I know. I know. It's great. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like Mexican food seems to go with everything. No, it I know not. you don't like it, but that's not my problem. So <laughs> I mean, I don't know to tell you. <laughs> it, it, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You know, go hey, if you're gonna fuse it with something, fuse it with something that's like, you know, like Italian and Chinese. That, those are like cuisines almost. You know, I mean that's where you get yeah, chicken but- chicken cacciatore from. It's a Italian dish based off of a Chinese recipe. I see so where you're coming from. Then it's been done. Yeah, that's just one dish. <laughs> Reese, you can go. Yeah, they're, you're they're- at, you, you, <laughs> I go. <laughs> They're trying to be creative here, and I'm all for it. Uh, I think that that we should look into more more cultures that we can mix with the Mexican culture. I think I understand where you're coming from because you don't like. It's not that I, Mexican. That's not food. the only reason why, but everything is fused like with the, Mexican food. Reason. Everything. It doesn't. Not everything has to be infused with Mexican food. I don't know. Tell you, man, it's delicious I mean, hell, food. Like, the 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 TV show Mystery Glacius tried to 
convince me that making a burrito filled with rice and adobo, which is a Filipino dish, would be good. And I tried it, and it sucked. Okay. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Mm. <laughs> this is still off the rails. <laughs> Anyway. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> Can't wait to have a carbonara taco. Are we really yes. going to do a live? <laughs> <laughs> hey, the live was your idea. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's our one year, though. I think it would be fun. It will be um, fun. Yeah. So this week on the uh, Facebook group page... Yeah, that's right. I said group page. We have one. It's called Facebook. Well, it's, our, it's, it's search, search Facebook. Damn you. Damn you. <laughs> I was going to do the thing, but I realized it doesn't have a link like that. So search Facebook for Carnival Cruising Podcastaways group. You can join it. It's a lot of fun. We threw a question in there. The cult responded. And uh, so here is that question is what drew you to Carnival Cruise in the first place? And what do you love about the company and their offerings? So, so I would like to start with Emmett. Emmett said, honestly, have been on a ton of different cruise lines. And I just love how Carnival's workers make you feel like and actually you matter to them. So that's very nice. And Megan responded with, that's two, that's at least two questions. I was like, jerk. <laughs> <laughs> that's my wife, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and we had some call-ins as well. Some people called in to the chat line. And uh, yeah, so they wanted to, to hear themselves on the podcast. So here we go. The first one, this... This one is actually a response to the question, and it's from Stephen. Hey, guys. It's Steve from Denton, and the brand-new minted platinum Carnival Cruiser. <laughs> you <laughs> yeah, can I uh, that chime in on your question that you brought up about Carnival. How did I get to Carnival, and what keeps me go kind of going there? So in 1997, our honeymoon was on the Carnival Inspiration out of San Juan. And ever since then, we have mostly stuck with Carnival except for three cruises. We keep going back to Carnival because the product always is very reasonably priced. It's a consistent product and the pricing is, you know, that helps. But it's also great that we have the opportunity to be able to grow from a number of different ports where we have friends or relatives close by that in addition to going on a fun yes. cruise with carnival, we get to see some family and friends. So with that, that's my response. Take care and see you at the next platinum party. <laughs> Thank you, Steven. I will be there and I will buy you your first drink there. How about that? So, <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait. Us platinum folk get that for free. All of our drinks are free <laughs> at the platinum party. So, my main response to him is, first of all, <laughs> congratulations on that newly minted, beautiful platinum card. And, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, Nicky, me, yes. mm. Well, you know, it's some of us get there, some of us don't. But <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Mister Kennedy? You, you look like you want to respond. <laughs> I want to kick you in the balls. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> oh, well, that's great. Well, and and Stephen does make a really some really good points. The price. Is yeah. very competitive pricing, you know. He definitely he's he's had a very similar cruising life like mine. Um, you know, he did his his honeymoon on a cruise. I feel like a very similar event. So yeah, definitely uh, very cool. You, you took your honeymoon on a cruise. Yeah, 
Yeah, really? you were there too. I took you oh. on, on there too. <laughs> you were on my honeymoon too. <laughs> so. Yeah, I was. <laughs> yeah, you were. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but all these yeah, years, what cool. I've been messing out on. Yeah, you you, you, <laughs> you never knew. So, all right. So now we have Gary who called in. And if Gary, Gary says anything about the breakfast burrito, I'm going. I'm crawling through the phone. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to take his little badge away as the yes, group expert. The group expert. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Hey guys, Gary here. Just to let you know what brought us to Carnival. What brought us to Carnival was the proximity of the port. In mm-hmm. 2017, we were living in South Georgia. And my wife and I were looking to go on a cruise, and Mobile was only a few hours away from us, and we decided that that would be the one we go on. So that's what got us there. Now we are, you know, five years later, still cruising Carnival. You know, we have cruised Royal Caribbean in the past. We have cruised MSC, but we keep going back to Carnival. The reason we keep going back to Carnival is the fun of the fun ships. We enjoy the cruise director. We enjoy the staff. We enjoy, you know, your room steward knowing I mean, everything about it is just so much more personable than what we've noticed on Royal Caribbean or MSC. And so that's where it's at for us. So, guys, great question. Thanks so much, man. I can't wait to hear everybody else's replies. See, that's that, that's kind of like, you know, what, what I keep hearing about, you know, people who, who start off with <coughs> Carnival or even with the Royal, they they – tend to go back to, to the, where they started, you know, just because it feels like family. So, yeah. I mean, you know, like I started with Carnival, with Carnival and, you know, I, with, with my, my Vegas slots, I, I'm being offered like cruises now because I have enough points for them that I could cash in for a cruise. So I might do a Royal cruise, but more than likely I'm going to come back to Carnival. Yeah. Uh, you say more than likely and I don't like how that sounds, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, you're like, well, more than likely, you know, the, there's a, there's a good fifty percent chance. I'll flip a coin. We'll see if I come back. <laughs> good lord! I don't like, I don't know. Wow. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, no, I've I've thought about going with other cruise lines. Honestly, I I've, I've thought about. You know, just going out there, trying out Royal Caribbean, MSC, or um, <coughs> even though it's like under the same umbrella, like Princess or a few others. And so, you know, I, I'm not opposed to it, especially now that I feel like I've achieved this 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 rectangle plastic platinum card that, that has set my status in stone with Carnival. So whenever I do return, I am returning to open arms. And so, <laughs> what what is going on over there? <laughs> you're, you're growling. <laughs> oh, am I? I it's like I an animal. Notice. Yeah, I didn't notice. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. So, well, so, hey Thomas, how far are you from achieving platinum status? I mean, you're gold status, right? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm 15 days. I have, so, I, have yeah. to earn, I have to sail 15 days and then I'll be platinum. Yeah. So it counts for every day. So like on the family reunion group cruise, I'll get eight days added to that. And then my next mm-hmm. seven day cruise on the last day, I'll be platinum, which means that entire crew, that entire next cruise will be, or the, that entire cruise of that seven day, I'll be platinum. So I'm, yeah, just... well, I'm, I'm looking forward to that that second cruise. It'll be like <laughs> countdown to not being butt hurt anymore. <laughs> you're being you're being spoiled on your first cruise. Don't give us that. You're getting you're getting like the royal treatment because you're going yeah. with a platinum person. <laughs> you're you're basically platinum by association. <laughs> <laughs> and I am thankful for that. I, I, yes, you know. yes. It's going to be so much fun, dude. It's going to be great. <laughs> It'll be fun trying to work my way up. I mean, I'm starting right at the bottom, but, you know, getting hey, the perks at the We were all there at one point. We were yeah. all there at one point. I mean, so. at one point I was blue, and then 
the next cruise I was gold, which then they started their different VIFP program, and then I went to red. And uh, <laughs> back, back then, though, uh, you, everyone was invited to the past cruiser party. Then they just changed it to, to gold and up, which I went to like three past cruiser parties. And then yeah. they they stopped. Uh, they, they said gold can't go anymore. It's like we don't we don't deserve anything. Why? Why? <laughs> we we put in just as much work as the other people. Uh, I mean, but less days. <laughs> but, so, you know. <laughs> I didn't say it. You know, just just, just as much work. It's just, uh, just about the, not quite. Just stick the knife in there just a little and twist a little bit more. Oh, I love how we got off on this. Oh, no, I'm an agent of chaos right now. I'm yes, it. yes, yes. <laughs> oh, it's too funny. So the other thing, uh, we do got another recording. Woo! Um, so, but this one, I do not think it's about the question because it is from a Mr. Gary as well. Hey there, guys. This is Gary here. Just wanted to check in with you and see how everything was going on this wonderful Christmas holiday season. The wife and I are headed over to the Trans-Siberian Orchestra in Atlanta today and it got me to wonder, what are your favorite Christmas songs? Can't wait to hear it. Sweet. So, I, I'm, I'm a musician, okay? So I, I'm a classical musician. My favorite piece is something that most people would not have heard. It's uh, called Variants on an Advent Hymn. It's be- basically a bunch of vari- variations of uh, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. It's a great piece it's by- for brass choir. And there's a tuba solo, which means that you know I was featured whenever I played it. So it's, it's great. That's my favorite uh, Christmas tune. Cold beans. So my favorite Christmas album, because I'm going to give you an entire album, is a Twisted Christmas by Twisted Sister. So <laughs> I like that. So, that's just that's just way out there. I never. <laughs> I'm just Damn, saying. I, <laughs> I don't even want to go now. Uh, Shit. You know, you, if you hear D. Snyder. Singing, I saw mommy Chris kissing Santa Claus. <laughs> it it's changed a little for you. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check that out. That's on. Awesome. It's, it's uh, really good, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, now you got me. You got me interested because I, I haven't heard that album in a long, long time. <laughs> so I actually almost got to go see them like a year ago or a year or two ago uh, at a Vegas trip, but I missed them by like a week they were in vegas for like a week or like a couple of weeks and i was the week after and i was so mad (laughs) i actually like twisted sister so anyways (laughs) um mine is uh this is halloween Uh, okay. I mean, okay. So, so you're not wrong. <laughs> Nothing there before Christmas. I don't consider that a Christmas movie. I consider that a Halloween movie. That that's okay. A lot of people don't consider uh, Die Hard a Christmas movie, and and they're wrong. Are wrong. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Yeah, and and some people consider Star Trek Voyager the worst show, but I, it's and the best. Right. Why Why didn't y'all join in? Why didn't y'all join in? Because, Aww. I mean... Well, I mean, it's me and my daughter's Christmas movie. So. <laughs> yeah. That's very good. I like that one. That's a, that's actually a really good answer to me. So, uh, my favorite Christmas movie? If, we're, if, we're, if we are going to movies and stuff, we're talking about movies and stuff. What is that called? The Christmas Carol? Or whatever? The, the, Christmas, the story. Christmas, Christmas, story. Christmas Story. Christmas Story. Christmas Story. I You'll like the Christmas out? Story. You'll shoot your eye out. I don't know why. I have to watch that every year. I really do. So they've done a, a not a remake, but like a no, they did a direct sequel, sequel or something. Uh, yeah, that came yeah. out on it's out on HBO Max right now. Yeah, yeah, uh, like the new new one, not not like the nineties one. No, no, it's pretty new. Yeah, okay. it has the same. It has the same kid who played. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. He's not okay. a kid anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, a, he's an adult now, but yeah, it's called a Christmas okay. Story Story. Yeah, but you know they they had a, like a '90s sequel, 
Yeah, that, I, know, I didn't know nothing, that. Had nothing yeah. to do with like anything hardly from the first. It was like except for the characters that they all yeah. were in there, but it was about they like that one was about killer everybody. That was about tops. killer They're tops. Like tops. Killer tops. The whole movie was about them playing tops, and they were like spin it into like the little circle, and the other kid would spin his top in, and it was about him getting the perfect top. And I was like, "This is the weirdest movie," and I love it. And, and, and his mother, <laughs> his mother kept going to go get the, to these China yes. China wear parties, and yeah. they kept giving her gravy boats, and she went yeah. insane and started throwing the gravy boats at the presenter. And everyone threw the gravy <laughs> boats at the guy. <laughs> I'm wondering like if this is like the successor to like Beyblades or something. I, you know, it, it felt like a very like sold out sequel. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad, but <laughs> know, there was something about it I liked. It was as a kid, I was like, "This is awesome," and I was, I don't know why, I was well, like, "Tops I mean, are rule." The, I, the parents yeah, were, none of my were friends big, were pretty tops. big name actors. I mean, the, the parents were pretty big name actors in the sequel, but it was a flop. Yeah. You know? So Reese, I've done some thievery, some some debauchery, and I've stolen your segment. And so here it is. This day in cruising history. On December 17th, 1995, the cruise ship MS Seabreeze suffered a major engine failure while en route to the Bahamas. The ship, which was carrying over 1,500 passengers and crew, was forced to drift for several frightening hours before rescued by a nearby cargo vessel. Fortunately, no one was injured in the incident. This incident highlights the importance of safety and reliability in cruise ship industry and the measures that are taken to prevent and respond to emergencies at sea. Yep. Okay. Yeah. That was good. The end. <laughs> I, I think he wore it better. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank, oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh gosh. Gosh. Oh. I like gonna... to thank you all. And, and if this is... I mean, I just want to put it out there. You know, I know that we all said that, you know, we were going to say that Addy was the funny one. And, oh, oh, guys, 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 calm down. Uh, but, I hate that button. Poor Addy. Oh, man. I just want to say that it's not nice to laugh. Uh, you know, we're... We, we, we don't want to lie. We, we don't present lies on this podcast. So we just want to put it out there that we're not going to lie. So I'm sorry, Addy. Uh, we'll return the $25 that you sent us to say that. So. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, my Glanta. Uh, <sighs> does she listen? <laughs> Not for much longer. <laughs> they're coming next week. They're coming next oh, week, so I, uh, I, I, I can I can make her listen to it. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna edit <laughs> quickly. Edit. I think I'm gonna well. pass the torch on to you, bud. That was that was oh. fantastic. Was it? Was it? I I it, it took me so long to write that. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> anyways, so it looks like we have come to the end of the show. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we have to end it at some point. <laughs> we'll be back next week. Yeah, we'll be back. Hey, we'll yeah, actually be back tomorrow. Yeah. So at if you join us. 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Yes. 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Join us on our Facebook page over at facebook.com forward slash Carnival Cruising Podcastaways. We also have a Facebook group as well. Join it. It's a lot of fun. And we have like questions, all kinds of posts. We're doing. I'm really, I'm really putting myself to it, and I am put, doing daily posts. And so, you guys will benefit if you join it. So, anyways, and if you have any questions or anything, you shoot us questions, and yeah, that's great. You could also 
send us a voicemail and we'll play it on the show. How cool is that? I don't care what you say. We don't carry. We don't go by the FCC's <laughs> rules. So just <laughs> you can say whatever you want. Uh, <laughs> what what is your opinions in the government? So oh whoa no no no. no. <laughs> I'll Whoa. play it. I'll play. I'll hit that play button. They can't say nothing. I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway, we've got it's called Speak Pipe. Uh, it's going to be in the description of the show. Go ahead and go down there, click it. It'll let you record a little audio message to us, and we'll play it on next week's show. But for now, I'd like to thank you all for listening and just know that you're unique, you are special, and you are loved. And remember, Anything that happens on a ship stays on YouTube. Bye. Save the foosball tables, won't you? Oh, boy! (laughs) Oh, that's great.